In this lesson, let's talk about the difference between get and be. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Today, let's talk about the difference between get and be. Now, we're talking about the difference when get and be are used as the main verb in the sentence structure where they're subject, verb, adjective, okay? And in this case, our verb, we can have the choice between get or be. This happens very frequently in English. Let's use angry as our adjective. We can use any subject, it doesn't matter. Now here, our verb, we have two choices. We can use the verb get and we can use the verb be. Let me give you an example with the verb get. She got angry. She got angry. Remember, to get is our infinitive verb. And get is our main verb. So it's the verb that's going to be conjugated. So here, how's the verb being conjugated? She got angry. Put it in the comments. What verb tense is this? It's the past simple. She got angry, maybe yesterday. Now let's take a look at an example with the verb to be. She was angry. She was angry. How is the verb being conjugated? Put it in the comments. Again, it's the past simple. Of course, our verb to be in the past needs to match our subject. She was, they were, she was angry yesterday. Now, both of these are grammatically correct. Both of them are possible, but what's the difference in meaning? When do we use get and when do we use be. There's a very simple way to know the difference. The difference is we use get in the structure of get plus adjective. Remember that. We use get to talk about transition. So we use it to talk about the transition from not angry to angry. So it's always the transition from not whatever the adjective is not angry, and then to whatever the adjective is. Yesterday, she got angry. So at some point yesterday, she wasn't angry, and then she transitioned to angry. She got angry. Now, we use the verb to be with adjectives in this specific sentence structure, we use the verb to be to talk about the current state. But remember that the verb be can be conjugated in different time references. So when I say she was angry, that's her current state at the time reference. So our time reference is in the past, right? So it's her current state in the past at the time that sentence is. She was angry yesterday. So we're really not talking about at some point she wasn't angry. That transition isn't what's important when we use the verb be. It's only the fact that she was angry at that specific point, the current state. That's what's important. So that's the difference. That's all you need to know. But let's take a look at a few other examples just so you can get comfortable with this. So another adjective we could use, lost, lost. Now we can use get lost, be lost. Again, I could say yesterday I got lost. Yesterday I got lost. So of course that talks about the transition from not lost to lost. Now, I could also give an example with the verb be. Maybe I could call my friend and say, can you come pick me up? I'm lost. That's my current state. 
I'm lost. Another adjective, let's use the adjective cold. Cold. So I could say, I get cold easily. I get cold easily. So here, get is in the present simple because I'm just stating a fact. It's a fact. I get cold easily. That's why when I go out, I always bring a sweater with me because I get cold easily. So it's talking about the transition from not cold to cold. Let's compare that to an example with the verb be. I was cold all week. Now notice here, my time reference is all week, but remember, it's our current state at that time reference. So my time reference now is all week. So my current state at that time reference, which was all week in the past, is I was cold. I was cold all week. So to summarize, it's very common to have the option between the verb get or be when our sentence structure is subject, verb, adjective. Both of these are grammatically possible. The verbs are conjugated according to the time reference and the subject, and get is used to talk about the transition. Transition from not to, whereas be is used to talk about the current state at that time reference. And that's all you need to know. Now, there are lots of examples of this sentence structure with subject, verb, adjective. So I want you to find a different adjective, different from the ones I gave you, and form your own sentences, one with get and one with be. And make sure you leave those in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. I'm getting cold, so I should really put on a sweater. I mean, who wears a t-shirt in winter? Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.